Hi my friends, nice to have you back. Now, in the previous video we looked at solving for uh, part 1 and part 2 where they asked us to find angle X, Y, Z and let's identify that angle again X, Y, Z and we found that to be 116 degrees and the theorem that we use to support our answer is that the opposite interior angles in a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary which simply means that if I should add this 116 to this 64 that is opposite and across from it I would get 180 degrees that that's what my sum would be now also we had solved part 2 y x z and if you notice the angle y x z and we had found this angle to be 23 degrees and the theorem that we used to support that was the angles in the alternate segment meaning that the angle outside here and we explained that in the previous video was the same size as the angle that is here so if you're not sure you could always go back to the to the previous video um, in the playlist okay now quickly let's look at part 3 they're asking us now to find OXZ so let's identify our angle OXZ now here is my O at the center of the circle and I'm running my my pointer along this red line and at the end of it I have X and then I'm running my pointer along this blue line and at the end of this blue line I have a Z okay so the angle O X Z is the angle that is formed at X and if you notice X is in the middle so that's where the angle is being formed so let's just quickly identify it by just marking it okay so this is the angle that we're trying to find now um, in order to find this angle um, basically what is happening um, I would have to work my way to this angle okay guys so what I'm gonna do given the fact that um, the triangle O and let me identify it, the triangle O X Z is an isosceles triangle and why do I say it's an isosceles triangle because O O to X O to X is a radius remember any line drawn from the center of a circle touching this to a point on the circumference is called a radius okay and two radii uh, of any circle of the same circle rather two radii of the same circle are equal so then if this is R let me just use my pointer my pencil rather if this is R if that distance is R from O to X, then also this distance must be R from O to Z. Okay, hence we have an isosceles triangle, meaning that these two sides are equal, which is OX, 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 and OZ are equal. Therefore, my two base angles must also be equal. So, angle OZX must be equal to the angle that they are asking us to find, which is OXZ. So, these two angles are the same size. Now, given that illustration, let's just quickly get into it to see how we can solve for this now. Now, we would have already learned the theorem okay and if you're not sure um very shortly we're going to be uploading a playlist on circle theorem where we where we show you the proofs uh in the theorems of the circle okay so let's just quickly get into it now if you notice i have the angle x w z okay these two purple lines and and just imagine that these two purple lines x w and w z are legs okay we call them angle legs so these legs are standing on the arc and if you notice i'm running my pointer along it um w is standing on the circumference at the point x and if i should come around on that along that arc um when i reach at z also the angle that is at w is standing on the point z so the angle that is formed at the circumference of the circle at the point W up top 64 degrees it is standing on the arc XZ okay hopefully you're seeing that um, which which I'm speaking about the two purple lines that's why I've color coded it so that you can identify quickly now another situation that I want you to look at is that on the same arc 
xz i also have the angle that is formed at o which is at the center of the circle standing on x the one of my red legs o x o to x if you notice that red leg is also standing on x which is the same point the angle up here is the angle at w is standing on and if you notice again o to z um that th this red leg over here this this radius here is also standing on the same point as my wz that purple leg that we have identified earlier so i can say then that the angle at the center of the circle is standing on the arc xz and the angle at the circumference is also standing on the arc xz okay now when we have a situation like that there's a theorem that speaks to that okay and it states that angle that is formed at the circumference is half the size the angle formed at the center when both angles are standing on the same arc or when both angles they'll use a special word and that word is subtended subtended just simply means standing on okay so when we have a situation where the angle at the center is standing on the same arc as the angle that is formed at the circumference the angle at the circumference is half the angle at the center okay so let's just quickly get that out so the first step in answering part three I would have to say the angle X O Z okay which is the angle at the center the angle here the angle here at the center I'm finding now that I'm coloring in black the angle X O Z must be equal to must be equal to a half sorry two times two times 64 because if the angle at the circumference is half the angle at the center it simply means then that the angle at the center must be two times the angle at the circumference okay it's the same statement I'm just saying it another way okay guys so I could say this is equal to two times for two fours would give me an eight and two sixes would give me 12 so that's 128 degrees okay so then therefore um let me just pause the video now and i'm just going to write the theorem okay guys okay my friends so there we have it uh um and remember when uh, finding angles um, by using the theorems of a circle for each angle you find um, you have to give a geometric reason and they had stated it in the question here that we should give reasons for our answer so in finding the angle XOZ we, we can say then therefore the angle XOZ is twice the angle at the circumference which is 64 so the angle at the center XOZ z would be equal to 128 degrees and our theorem states the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference subtended by the same arc okay so what what has really happened we have found the angle at the center here at, of the circle to be 128 degrees okay and and we can just write it in uh, so this angle is 100 128 degrees okay now having this angle and given the fact that we have established earlier that this is an isosceles triangle we would have known now then that the base angles in an isosceles triangle are equal okay so all I would I would have to do now is to subtract given the, the fact again that angles in a triangle are supplementary meaning that they sum to 180 degrees meaning this angle plus that angle plus this angle adds up to 180 then I can subtract 128 from 1 180 and my remainder I could just basically divide it by 2 given the fact that these two angles are equal to get the size of OXZ so quickly let's just get into that so in finding the angle OXOXZ then therefore simply I could say the angle angle OXZ is equal to 180 and I'm subtracting the 128 here that I found at the apex of my isosceles triangle minus sorry 128 128 and I'm dividing that now by 2 okay so basically 128 180 minus 128 will give us a 
52 degrees okay so I'm dividing 52 divided by 2 now okay and that would give us a 26 degrees okay so my angle OXZ is equal to 26 degrees now basically um, to calculate this we we had done two things really okay the first thing I want to address and because we have to state our geometric reasons okay um, we subtracted 128 from 180 now given the fact that um, the sum of the interior angles as I've stated before meaning this angle here at X this angle at O plus this angle at Z adds up to 180 in an, in any triangle then the the reason that we must state now is that angles in a triangle sum to 180 and I'm just gonna pause the video and write my geometric reason okay based on the interest of time now there is our reason angles in a triangle sum to 180 degrees okay so that would give us our 52 now if you notice the next thing that we did was to divide 52 by 2 to get our 26 degrees okay so therefore I must state another geometric reason which is base angles in an isosceles triangle are equal okay so let me just pause the video again so that's it my friends um, here we have our second reason um, why the angle OXZ is equal to 26 degrees we have stated it here base angles in an isosceles triangle are equal and as I've, we have said before the angle at Z here must be the same as the angle at X given the fact that we have an isosceles triangle thanks for watching feel free to make a comment uh, if you have one or if you're not clear still um, you could always leave a question and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Bye-bye.